All right, so you know me. I'm a pretty fun-loving, easygoing guy, you know. I, I don't have any real, like, animosity or anger towards anybody. But this piece of shit fucking dickbag. This guy, Gav Murphy, works at IGN. I don't know what the fuck he does, but he works at IGN. And anyway, so we're going to put the link up in the video. Here's here's the the long and short of it. One of the developers working on Tekken 7 puts up a tweet and it says it was, so he, the the question was are Tekken female characters going to be getting these bikini skins that the Japanese version is getting? This uh this chick uh Jen Simpkins asks or you know they ask in a th this is the question that's asked to the developer. He says, and I quote, ask your country's SJWs, ha, ha, ha. Social okay, yeah. You know, whatever. Okay, kind of funny. I love it. I love that uh, yeah. guy already. Yeah, like exactly, because they can already see the ridiculousness of yeah. everything. Yeah. And this Jen Simpkins chick shows up, tweets, as a lifelong identifying female Tekken fan, this tweet makes me really sad. Come the fuck on. What pisses oh. me off is that progressively after this, too, like, she automatically speaks for all women. Like, she's already set the tone for what's going to happen later, you know what right. I mean? Right. Like, she's already, she's already poisoned the fucking well. Yeah. So then, Gav Murphy, this fuck. I already don't like I don't even know who the fuck he is. I don't even know where the fuck he came from. But then he says, and I quote, Garbage man makes garbage tweet about his utterly garbage game. <laughs> It's about the new Taken, okay? Now, me and you aren't huge fighting game fans. No, not really. But I can appreciate Tekken's the importance there, of though. Tekken. Yeah. Any, I can appreciate yeah. it. Any time I've taken with fighting games has involved Tekken. Mm. And so now you got this fuck talking shit about utter garbage game. I would love to see the game that this guy has made or this guy has been involved in making. Because I doubt he has if he's working at IGN. Because we've seen the quality of... That is that has been coming out of IGN lately. Yeah. Anyways, we moved down. And so he has to explain himself now. Like, they said garbage, 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 and somebody, I guess, commented on it. And now he has to explain himself, and his response is... His it, response is, it's a shit Vutro fighter. Taken is a shit Vutro fighter. Which is funny because Taken is the only series that's still popular enough to still be around. Which was the last time we ever got Virtua not, Fighter? Yeah. yeah. When was the last time we got one of those? I'm not going to say they weren't good games. Would I put them in the same caliber as Tekken? No. No. The no, I would not. The combo I, system's exponentially better. Right. And so then you have people fighting him for tweets. Uh, he's calling everybody turds. <laughs> he's saying that he knows for a fact that everybody at IGN likes him. And I think... I'm all, probably all, all, I'm all, probably all, all, pretty all the, much the most popular guy in the office. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, so, I so this on this channel we are going to be we bash IGN pretty regularly and for good reason yeah, they because keep, they keep giving examples. Yeah, I mean they they give us plenty of content to beat them up with, and basically a lot of them are just fucking dick bags. I mean, there's really no eloquent eloquent way to put it. You know what I mean? There's just they're dick bags, and so. I think what bothers me the most about this, he though... He came back. The, he came back the, and apologized. Yeah, the developer came back and apologized for all the... For the that silly comment. And it makes me... It pisses me off that he buckled one. Yeah. But it pisses me off that you had these fucking shitheads that forced him into that. Yeah. You know? Like, dude... And it's like a marketing thing. You know what I mean? Like, he got nervous and was like, oh, maybe this will ruin... You know, it's release in America and stuff like that. Yeah, and and that's the problem. And, and he should have he should have stopped to ask your SJWs, ha ha ha. Yeah, he should have just let that go. Yeah. But I think this shines a light on a bigger problem: is the fact that you have these developers, you have these companies in other countries who aren't in America, and these are the fuckheads that they see and interact with. This is what they think. That the majority of the gaming culture in America consists of these hypersensitive females and these white knight fedora tipping fuckbags. Yeah, I didn't even think about that too, but this, I'm embarrassed 
You know what I right. mean? Like, I don't. If I was talking to that guy, it'd be a completely different conversation. Right. Like, I don't want to, him to think that these people represent what I think. Right. Because then it might it might change their decision on what kind of games they make, what kind of games we get. Yeah. You know, I don't care about bikini skins. Most gamers don't give a shit about bikini skins or care if they're offensive or not. We want a good fighting game. We want a new Tekken. You know, we haven't had one of those in a while. We want a new Tekken. Most and the, of, yeah, most of the time I wouldn't even choose a chick based off of that. I would choose it based off of how they play. Right, exactly. Like, their outfits are completely irrelevant yeah. to my decision-making yeah. on which character I'm going to play What I like, with. usually they're faster. Their attacks are, you know, like, quicker. Right. You like agile characters. I do. Yeah. So I can get in my combos because... <laughs> Once somebody you gets don't have it, any combos. Once somebody you don't else, play, you don't play enough fighting games to have combos. I, I, a little bit. A little you bit, ain't got no bit. combos. Anyways, fucking like, it's because I like those quick characters because it's, I can get in a bunch of combos that may not do a lot of damage, but when somebody else comes in with their heavy combos, once they get their hits in, I'm fucking done. I yeah, I mean, and, but, but it's, all of that's completely. It's it's but not it, relevant because what is relevant is that these are the people that are being looked at as our representatives in the gaming culture because they come from these giant websites they have this kind of platform to stand on and speak even if they have even if they have small minds and small voices they're on such a big platform that they that their opinions are seen more yeah what's that quote where he talks about like uh you know uh, they have the power to, to change this or make these kind of decisions like what power do you have you know what I mean? Right. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. He, he thinks he has some power, um, in which he doesn't. But the, but the thing is, is he he has – I don't want to say him personally has influence, but he has the backing of influential people and, in a, and a website. Which is rapidly dwindling because of what they've been doing recently. I hope so. I mean, that's, that's, that's one that's, – that should be – if we had a mission statement, one of them would be – this, to the, see the disintegration of IGN. IGN used to be a good site, and we still go to IGN. Not for, even just for, IGN, but some of those other people that do the videos where they speak out against like this sort of thing, where they want us to apologize for being male gamers and stuff like that. Yeah. And just like, no, I will. We will forever on this channel tell anybody, anybody who thinks that we should feel bad about being gamers to go take them, take their dicks. Shove them in their ass and go fuck themselves. <laughs> so next time you shit, you shit all over your balls. Because you see dicks fuck assholes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, in, I, I will never, I will never feel bad about being who I am or being what I am. And I'm not gonna sit here and have somebody who tells me they're part of the gaming community, but tells me that you, for some reason, are on some pedestal that I'm not on, and I should feel bad. You're okay. Even though you're in the gaming culture, you're okay. You're not the rapist, but, but I am. You and know? not only that, but like I said, again, like it makes me feel embarrassed. Like if I want to be able to have that conversation with the developer and him ask me serious questions about what I want to see in Tekken, and now automatically he's blowing that off because he just sees everybody who's a part of that community in America as somebody who's just going to give him shit about what clothes they're wearing. Yeah. And I mean, and, the, and this, is, this is a problem, you know. Before, you know, a few years ago when it was this third wave feminism bullshit coming out, I didn't give a shit. I mean, I, don't, I, I know normal females who think feminism is bullshit too. I don't care. The problem is, 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 is now, ever since Gamergate, it's bleeding over into gaming. And now, even though it, you're not directly, I guess, affected by it, when you visit a website that you like, a gaming website, when you, you know, go to read a gaming article and you see this stuff being thrown in your face and you're being told that you're, you know, a piece of shit for being a gamer, that's a problem. Yeah. Because now it's bleeding over into your culture. And how the, how those developers see their exactly how they how they see games too. yeah exactly this guy's not American he doesn't know he doesn't know that most people think these people are full of shit for all he know he thinks this is how most people think over yeah. here and that might de affect uh, decisions on how they develop games and what they release to us <laughs> next you know all the female characters will be wearing sackcloth and like nunneries yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I think what we really want to say is fuck Gavin Murphy, fuck that dude, and fuck anybody who thinks that you know that this shit is okay, yeah. that you're gonna bash a developer of you know of a very prestigious franchise over some nonsense comment. Ask your country's SJWs, ha ha ha. 
That started this. And this guy's gonna talk about Tekken being a shit game. Go fuck yourself, dude. 